Blair of the Mounties, a story of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. We present episode 12 in the dramatic series Blair of the Mounties. Our story takes us back to August 1914, the outbreak of war. As the news of the declaration of war against Imperial Germany echoes round the world, the men of the Great Dominion spring to arms in support of the motherland. All over Canada, men swarm to the training camps. Soon the troop movement from the far west begins. By night and day, the troop trains thunder eastward, carrying the men of the 1st Canadian Division on the initial stage of their journey to the battlefront. Even at this early date, the long arm of the German general staff reaches out to distant Canada. Enemy agents begin to slip over the Canadian border, seeking to interfere with the movement of troops. As our scene opens, we find Inspector Blair busy with a new and interesting problem. Morning, Inspector. Oh, good morning, Tenant. Anything stirring? No, it's all quiet. It's the dullest job I ever ran into. Yes, it hasn't been very exciting, but we've only had supply and medical trains so far. We got the first real troop trains tomorrow night, four sections. Yes, I know, but what of it? All this fool talk of spies looks rather stupid. You never know, Tenant. According to these messages coming through, there's lots of spy activity across the border. And, uh, oh yes, how about that uh, Fisher case? Fisher? <laughs> oh yes. I suppose he's another harmless farmer with a German accent visiting friends in Canada. Maybe. Military intelligence at Ottawa were very much interested in him. He crossed the border at Pembina last Thursday. But unless he shows up, it's no concern of ours. Oh, well. He's here all right. What? Mm -hmm. But he's going west today on 97. Anything suspicious? No, except that he called for a letter at the post office here yesterday. Did you get anything? No, but I did. What do you mean? Oh, a letter came for him after he'd gone. I grabbed it. That's rather irregular, Tenant. Mm, possibly, but if I'd waited for a requisition, it might take weeks. Yes, that's right. Let's have a look. Hmm. Henry Fisher. General delivery, Moose Jaw. Mailed from Clover Point. Mm, that's on the main line, about a uh, hundred miles west of here. All right. Let's open that letter. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now who's irregular? Oh, come on. Let's have it. All right. Here, here we go. Well... For the love of Mike, well, look what's here. Wrong? What's wrong? Why, right, just a blank sheet of paper. Hand me that bottle of developer, Tenant. All right. Headlines. Dangerous enemy agent foiled by watchful eye of gallant police. Oh, shut up, Tenant. <laughs> Give me some of that developer. All right. Let's soak a bit. I'm afraid there's nothing on it. Mm, doesn't look like it. Well, better dry it off and put it through the roller. Or, hold on, Tenant. Try a little of that special developer. Just a few drops. It's in the green bottle. All right. There you are. Huh. That's no good either. Well... Yeah, wait a minute. Look, there's a line coming sure, up. So it is. Yes. And there's another line, see? Why, it's, it's a plan or drawing of some sort. Yes. See now? There's a sloping bank. Why, why, it's a drawing of a bridge. Sure enough, and a railroad bridge at that. Tenant, I believe you've got something. Hand me that telephone. Hello? Get me CPR. Superintendent's office. Mr. Clark. Hurry up. Police call. Yes. Inspector Blair speaking. Right. Hurry, please. Hello? Hello? That's you, Billy? Uh, this is Blair. Listen, I want uh, Paddy Moran, the roadmaster. Is he in town? Fine. Ask him to come over, will you? Leland Hotel, room 17. Oh, he's in the hotel. You get him for me? Thanks, Billy. Goodbye. That's fine. Oh, Paddy's coming right in. Well, you think he can tell us where that bridge is? I doubt it myself. Well, we can try him anyway. Have we any whiskey around? Sure, there's a couple of bottles of uh, Spay Royal in the grip. Good, better break out a bottle. Paddy's a thirsty old devil. Now, <coughs> oh, that's Paddy, I guess. Let him in, Tenant. All right. <laughs> well, no one, no oh, hardy hello, Inspector, Patty. me boy. Oh, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, but it's terrible dry weather we're having. But Jabez, I don't know when I've seen it so dry. <laughs> how about a spot of whiskey, Paddy? Oh, whiskey? <laughs> well, now, uh, I'm a temperate man, Inspector, and I seldom take it, but uh, it's awful dry weather. Oh, help yourself, <laughs> Paddy. <laughs> well, now, I will have just a little spot for old time's sake. <laughs> Thank you. Fine. Well, here's a small trail to you and a quick promotion. Inspector. Thanks. Same to you, Paddy. <sighs> ah, man, that's fine whiskey, Inspector. <laughs> Elegant stuff, so it is. Well, what's that you have there, Inspector? A drawing? Yes, what I wanted to see you about. Ever see that bridge before? Did I ever see it? <laughs> well, sure, it's just a threatful bridge. Yes, but, Paddy, isn't there some way to identify it? Give it a chance that I can see. Hold on, hold on. The, this. Something familiar about You think you'd know it? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. Uh, just hand me that bottle no. now. <laughs> uh, thank you. I always did say that a thirsty man has a poor Yes, man. but uh, what about that bridge, Paddy? Uh, Begara, I have it. I have it. Huh? You see that crooked pile under the threat? Yes. 
Well, that's the same pile I've been after the bridge department to change this three months. Sure, I know I'd get it. But, Perry, the bridge, where is the confounded yes, thing? now, Inspector, I, I was coming to that. Sure, it's the bridge at Owl Creek siding, seven miles beyond Clover Point. Clover Point? Sure, sure, that's it. Fine. Now, listen, Perry, we've got four troop trains coming through tomorrow night. We have some reason to suspect that an attempt will be made to wreck those trains at that bridge. No, the devil, you say? Yes, Tennant and I will be going west on number three tonight. Well done, now. I'm thinking I might be going along with you. Splendid. Uh, Sure, and if the murdering devil start monkeying with that good bridge of mine, I'll be having a word with him. Ah, uh, sure. I- I'll be seeing you at the train. All right, Penny. I tell you, Inspector, there's not a sign of any attempt to tamper with that bridge. Paddy and I went over it. Hmm. Yeah, that's right now. Nothing unusual at all. Well... Maybe we're on the wrong track about yeah, that bridge. Sure. What do you mean? Supposing you wanted to wreck a train, Paddy, near this bridge. Me? Wreck a train? Is it? Well, just supposing. Uh, hey, and it's an eagle, elegant place to do it. That's what I thought. Uh, sure, now you see the deep ravine with the bridge over. Yes. And you see beyond the bridge, there's a deep cutting. That's it. Well, before the train comes to the cutting, there's a heavy grade and the cutting has a current. I see the idea. The engineer can't see the bridge until he's within a hundred feet of it. Uh, that's right. All they'd need to do is just to throw a rail. Sure, now that would do it. And I'll tell you they picked the elegantest place in the wreck of the whole division. Th- thanks, Paddy. That's what I wanted to know. How long did it take them to oh, ship the rail? Just a couple of minutes to do for a man that knew how. Well, we've got four trains tonight running ten minutes apart. Oh, and a nice mess that it'd be if they got one of them. The tour would be on the top of them before they'd know anything about it. What troops are coming? Uh, uh, I suppose uh, six Vancouver rifles, Gordon Highlanders from Victoria, and the Yukon machine gunners. I'll uh, be dead. Them pies is too good to lose. I should say so. Tenant? Yes, sir. Who's on patrol? Well, there's Madden and Forsyth. I see. Of course, this may be a false alarm. Anyhow, the first train will make Dunster about 10.15. The operator at the siding will give us a warning. Then we'll have to keep our eyes skinned. We've four hours yet. Hey, the holy poker, if I catch one of them trying to fool with that track, I spivlicate him. Fine. We'll see you at the siding at 9.30, Paddy. Sure, I, I'll be with you. I'm away now to the bush to cut me a shillelagh. All right. Any report of that first two back, sir, operator? Not yet, Inspector. She was through medicine hat on schedule. We should hear the Dunster report any minute now. All right, let me know as soon as she comes. Sure thing, Inspector. How long have we got after she passes Dunster? About 12 minutes. All right. There she is now. She's just passing Dunster. Thanks. All right, Tenant, Paddy, yes. you there? Sure, I'm here. This way, Inspector. We'll go over the thistle. What's that train line for, Paddy? Well, now we might need it to be signaling the train. Well, that's one on me, Paddy. I never thought of that. <laughs> you didn't, sure, and it's a fine detective you are now. Look out now. Watch your step on the bridge. All right. Pretty dark. Here you are, Inspector. There's a good view of the bridge from here. Yes, this'll do. Let's see, Paddy. It'll take about an hour for those trains to pass, won't oh, it? No, it's little you know about railroading. They'll be crowding each other, I'm thinking. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Listen, will you? There you are now. There's the first train. Just hitting the grid. Yes, that'll be her, all right. Sure, she'll be in the cotton in a minute. Huh, everything seems all right. I'll be rather foolish if nothing happens, Paddy. Here she comes. And there she goes. Give her the sign of any trouble. Yes, just a false alarm. Listen, what's that? Surely not the second train. Hey, didn't I tell you? She's right on top of the first train. And look, listen, what's that at the track? They got it. Somebody has to throw in a rail down by the bridge. All right, Tenant, Madden, hurry up. Get oh. up. Busy there. Oh. All right, hey. oh, Get there, fella. Oh. Uh, what, what happened, Tenant? Well, there's two of them down to the track. I got one of them. He's laying down there. Uh, hey, never mind that. The uh, track's open and the train will be here in a minute. Hey, give me that lamp. For heaven's sake, stop her, somebody. Uh, hey. Can't you do something, Tennant? It's no use, sir. Uh, Paddy's away with his lantern, but there's uh, not a chance uh, in the world, I tell you. full speed. Paddy, he's, he's right in the middle of the track. Good, Tennant, isn't there any way to stop that train? No, I'm afraid not, Inspector. It's too late. Where's Paddy? Oh, I can't see him now. Get up, She's coming straight for that open rail. Why, look. They've seen the signal. She's stopping. She's stopping. They've seen it. Oh, thank God for that. Hey there, Raiden, Mickey, get into it. Oh, that rail open. Wait, oh, right. give me that fire. Get it there. 
How long will it take a fix, Paddy? Ah, just a minute. They only sprung me into the rail. But it would have been enough to put her in the creek. Oh, that's lucky. Uh, there you are. She's all fixed. Come ahead, Barney. Good luck to him. Sure, and it's a long trail they're after taking. I'm thinking there's mighty few of them will be coming back this way. Well, they'll have a run for their money anyhow. Thanks, Paddy. I don't know what we'd have done without you. If there's anything I can do... I've got no one that is. <laughs> you might tell me what you've been after doing with that elegant bottle of whiskey. It's how old I am. <laughs> You've heard episode 12 in the dramatic series Blair of the Mounties. Our next story is a thrilling episode of the Secret Service on the Western Front, the case of Lieutenant Ralston.